how to invest in real estate channel surfing these days will almost certainly lead you into some iteration of real estate from realtors million dollar listings to diyers house flipping while it can be fun to see a dramatic home transformation play out over the course of an hour it can be more fun to get actively involved real estate often proves to be a lucrative investment offering both income in the form of rents and appreciation when you sell appreciated property at a profit it's also a good way to diversify your portfolio as an asset that is subject to different influences than stocks and bonds and for uh, the everyday individual it may be more accessible than you think although it requires a considerable time patience and of course cash almost anyone can invest in real estate so here are six ways you can get in uh, on this investment turned pop culture phenomenon real estate crowdfunding Real estate crowdfunding is a strategy that allows enterprises to raise capital from large groups of individuals. It's done through online platforms that provide a meeting ground, marketplaces between real estate developers and interested investors. In exchange for their money, investors receive debt or equity in a development project and in successful cases, monthly or quarterly distributions. So not all uh, real estate crowdfunding platforms are available to everyone most are reserved for accredited investors that is high net worth and uh, highly experienced individuals still there are uh, several less exclusive platforms like fundrise and reality mogul that allows newbie to invest as little as $500 through these sites you create an account and either select a portfolio strategy based on your goals with brokers diversifying your money across a series of investment funds or uh, browse and select investments yourself keeping up with the pr- progress through a 24/7 online dashboard despite their convenience crowdfunding offers uh, you know comes its offerings comes along with a considerable risk as private investments they are not as liquid easily solid sold as other publicly traded securities like stocks think of your funds as being tied up over the long term fundrise recommends investors having a, a time horizon of at least 5 years for <coughs> you know in this 5 years is just an example then real estate investment trusts REITs if you want to uh, wade into real estate investing in a real estate investment tr- uh, trust will provide exposure to the market you know it will m- uh, provide exposure to the market without the time and cost commitment of buying your own property REITs are uh, companies that own operate or finance pro- properties in real estate ventures like mutual funds or exchange traded funds they own not just one but a basket of as- uh, assets equity reit is the most common type of reit allows investors to pool their money to fund the purchase development and management of real estate properties it focuses a uh, type you know specific type of real estate such as apartment complexes hospital hotels or malls 90% of its annual earnings must be distributed to the investors as dividends so gear towards generating income usually from the rent and lease reit offer uh, regular returns and high dividends they also appeal to investors because of the unique way uh, they, that they are taxed if you want to keep your investment uh, liquid stick to publicly traded reit uh, so real estate limited partnerships A real estate limited partnership provides investors with a diversified portfolio of real estate investment opportunities allowing you to merge your funds with other investors to buy, lease, develop and sell properties that would be hard to manage or afford independently. Like like REIT, RLP is usually on a pool of properties but they differ in their structure and organization. Primarily RELPs are a form of private equity that is they are not traded on public exchanges 
instead uh, they exist for for a set term which typically lasts between 7 and 12 years so become a landlord one classic way to invest in real estate is to buy a property and lease it or part of it being a landlord can come in many forms the first is to buy a single family home and rent it out a strategy that will only generate income if overhead costs are low if your tenant's rental payment does not cover the mortgage insurance taxes and maintenance you are effectively losing money ideally your monthly mortgage payment will be relatively fixed while rent prices rise increasing the amount of money you pocket over time nowadays you can shop for rental properties online through a site like roofstock which allows sellers of vacant homes primed for renters uh, to list their properties facilitating the you know buying process and the signed property managers to the new buyer so that's all thank you so much